I say good morning or good evening uh, good evening good morning good evening good morning everybody um, we are commencing our three days uh, of dry fasting we are commencing our Esther's fasting which is three days of dry fasting uh, no food no water for three days we are commencing right now and will break on Sunday at 6 p.m. We are commencing right now. We break on Sunday at 6 p.m. Um, thank you very much, all those who have joined me uh, for the commencement of uh, this Esther's fasting. Uh, the theme of our fasting is um, Exodus or Kubuda. Um, so I'm going to give... Um, I'm going to share the word of God and I'm going to give a teaching um, as we start our Esther's fasting. Yesterday I emphasized on the importance of confession and on the importance of crying for mercy and forgiveness before God. The Bible says mercy and forgiveness belongs to him and he also says uh, come to me all those who are um, heavy laden and uh, carry my cross so uh and he also says in isaiah come let us reason together though your sins are as um red as is blood 
uh, I will wash them and we'll make them as white as snow. So um, we just need to go before God as we commence our Easter's fasting uh, and cry out for mercy and cry out for forgiveness because usually uh, the pharaohs that attack us, the pharaohs of our lives, they operate from something that is called a legal ground. And when we talk about a legal ground, we are talking about the right and the door that you have opened for the devil to attack you and for the devil to afflict you. And usually these doors and this legal ground is um, the sins that we have committed, the errors that we have made in the past that opened the door. Because um the devil now has the legal ground to accuse you and the legal ground to afflict you so we need to go before god and say god forgive us of our past errors past mistakes um on this note also um we need to pray about uh ancestral sins parental sins so that uh as we um, start our Easter's fasting, we are clean before God. So I just want us to take maybe two minutes and just go before God and cry for mercy and cry for forgiveness. I think this may be the legal ground that the Pharaoh of my life has over me. This is why um, my enemies uh, are gaining access to attack and to afflict me. I just want you to go before God and just begin to pray and say, God, forgive me. Diwanire nyasha marima nerwa na simundire gerere. Jume takaita nekusa ziva, jume takaita nekusa simba. But we just want to go before God and say, maritire gerere. So I just want you to take a minute and go before God and cry for mercy and cry for forgiveness. Ungoti marinda oya kuso turami toro yangu inontire mera pamberi penyu. Ndawaya kuso chema. Do I also chemera your mess and your grace? Forgive me because mercy and forgiveness belongs to you. If you have got any sins that you know and you are aware of, you may even mention those sins and say, God, forgive me. Because um, we are here for different reasons. We are here with different prayer points. Maybe wakambo ita abortion and you are praying for a fruit of the womb. Now your pharaoh has legal ground to stand and say you cannot have a child because you once aborted. And when you stand before God to pray, the devil is always reminding God, through abortion. So that is a legal ground that the pharaoh of your life is now using and standing on to afflict you. So we just want to go before God and begin to pray and confess our sins. Maybe you are praying for a marital breakthrough, but before and God is, the devil is saying Muno gom bless an marriage say iya kapara zakana five or six ma marriages kumashure o so I just want you to go before God maybe you are even um in a bitter marriage but kumashure o unewa wakambor wadzisa wakambor ito tvarara me ma marriages ai wadza ne kuvava and right now you just need to go before God and say mari dire gerere panda kambu fura ne popa ya kana paripo pa kunti furira madoz. Uh, uh, just forgive me let us just go before God like David David became the man after God's own heart because he had a repentant heart he would always go back to God and say Mari, dire gerere. so I just want you to go before God and say Mari, dire gerere in the just acknowledge your sins before God begin to mention them one by one and say God forgive me forgive me uh, wash me with the blood of Jesus let the blood of Jesus, the blood for the remission of sins, let it wash me clean. In Jesus' mighty name, just go before God and begin to pray. Welcome, Evangelist Mangwana. I can see you have just joined. Just go before the Lord and just begin to pray. Just go before the Lord and begin to pray. Just go before the Lord and begin to pray. And while least we are on that, may you please share the live stream. Take somebody in comments. Share the live stream on your timeline. Um, share the link in our HANA WhatsApp groups so that uh, many people can also benefit from these prayers uh, those with uh, health issues 
uh, I encourage you to take light meals. You can have fluids maybe during the day and then you break with a light meal uh, in the evening. Uh, because I know there are some of you who are on medication and you cannot pull through the three days of dry fasting. So you can take fluids during the day and have a light meal uh, in the evening. Or if you can pull through the day and then break with a light meal uh, in the evening so that you can take your medication, it will still be okay. Um, and even those who are pregnant, you can also break in the evening. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So um, today um, I'm, I, we, we are talking about uh, Exodus. And like I said uh, in our previous uh, live stream, I said Exodus is coming out of bondage, coming out of slavery, coming out of captivity. And um, so today there are two things that I want to talk about. First of all, I want to talk about Pharaoh. I want to talk about the spirit of Pharaoh. Because when we are saying Exodus, we are talking about the children of Israel coming out of bondage under Pharaoh. People of the children of Israel coming out of captivity, coming out of slavery where they were serving under Pharaoh. So I'm going to talk one about Pharaoh. And I'm also going to talk about the taskmasters. Because these two were the greatest adversaries and enemies of the Israelites while they were in the land of Egypt. So I'm going to talk about Pharaoh. What is the spirit of Pharaoh? And I'm also going to talk about taskmasters. What are these taskmasters? What do they do? And how do they afflict us in our day-to-day -day lives? And I'm going to give examples of some of these taskmasters even in the Bible. So um, first of all, um, I said Pharaoh operates from a legal ground. So I need you to identify with what is the legal ground that Pharaoh is operating on. In the case of the Israelites, the, um, there was a king uh, who uh, had a covenant with Joseph. When Joseph went to Egypt and he could interpret the king's dreams, there is a covenant and, and agreement that Pharaoh made with Joseph uh, to the extent that Joseph invited his parents and his brothers to come, to come and go in Egypt uh, at that time when there was a famine. And this is the agreement that they had. But when this king who had an agreement with Joseph died, they rose another the king, another pharaoh, who, did, who didn't know the agreement that was there between the Israelites and uh, pharaoh, between the Israelites and the um, and the um, recent and the previous king. And because uh, he didn't have an understanding of this agreement, he started to afflict the children of Israel. He started to harass them. He started to make them serve under hard bondage. He started to enslave them. And he assigned some taskmasters over them. And this is what we are going to be talking about. So on this note, I just want to say, for some of us, we are serving under bondage because um, there are some covenants and some agreements that have been breached. Um, I, on this note, I'm talking about maybe your parents could have made an agreement or a covenant with some powers or with some deities, your, or your ancestors could have made some covenants and some agreements with some deities. But uh, because you, you are not aware of these covenants and you are not aware of these agreements, uh, you have breached the terms of the covenants, you have breached the terms of the agreements, and because of that reason, now you are saving under bondage, now you are saving you are you are serving as a slave um I don't want to dwell much on this, but I just I just want you to pray also uh, because each and every time we pray, we need to pray with revelation. I also want you to refer back to Jeremiah 33 verse 3 that says, call unto me and I'll show you great and hidden things that you do not know. And um, may God begin to reveal to you the legal ground that Pharaoh has over you, the legal ground that the taskmasters under whom you are serving, the 
the legal ground that they have over your life why are you saving under them why are you in this captivity why are you in this bondage i want you to go before god and pray about it as we are uh, as we commence our esther's fasting you may stand also on jeremiah 33 verse 3 lord why am i saving under this bondage why am i in uh, slavery why is all this happening to me you need to know some of these things are because of some covenants and some agreements that have been breached because uh, the current generation doesn't have an understanding of those agreements and those covenants that were made back then or even our pa your parents could have made those agreements and those covenants and you are not aware of um, and I want you to take note because I'm not saying your parents are your enemies or your ancestors are your enemies but some of the times they did this because they had a uh, good intentions they, they they thought they were doing you a favor they thought they were they were uh, protecting you and they were making um they were trying maybe to pave a better future for you that's what they thought and uh they got into those agreements and those covenants but right now uh you are saving in captivity and in bondage because you have breached the the, the terms and the agreements of those covenants why because they never told you of those agreements they never told you of those covenants that they made because in this case joseph and the the, the previous pharaoh they made an agreement they made a covenant but when a new ki king came when a new pharaoh came he wasn't aware of this agreement he wasn't aware of this covenant that joseph had made with the children of israel and now the children of israel were saving uh in bondage they were slaves so maybe it could be some agreements and some covenants that were made back there that you are now saving uh in captivity and you are now in bondage so we need revelation we need to understand what why we are going through all the battles and the hardships that we are going through the children of israel but maybe those who were born when uh, joseph was already dead they couldn't understand why uh, pharaoh was making them safe under such hard conditions they couldn't understand that the new pharaoh uh, was not aware of the agreement that their ancestor joseph had made with um the the previous king so i just want you to pray uh, for revelation uh in that area but i don't want to dwell much on that so we i'm going to talk about uh pharaoh uh we need to understand what what uh what do we mean when we talk about pharaoh i'm going to refer to it as a pharaoh spirit the spirit of pharaoh what does the spirit of pharaoh do number one the spirit of pharaoh is the spirit of bondage it is a spirit of bondage because the children of Israel were in bondage under Pharaoh. They didn't have the freedom to do what they wanted. They would just save under the command and the will of Pharaoh. They didn't have the right even to ask why. They didn't have the right to ask why were they saving? Why were they in bondage? Why were they working for Pharaoh? So the spirit of Pharaoh is a spirit of bondage. Number one, it is a spirit of slavery slavery number two it is a spirit of oppression number three it is a spirit of stubbornness the spirit of pharaoh is a very stubborn spirit you you can read the whole uh, book of exodus and understand how stubborn pharaoh was because when when God assigned Moses to go and deliver the children of uh, Israel from Egypt, Pharaoh was very stubborn. He just couldn't let them go. So I want you to understand that the spirit that we are dealing with and the spirit that we are fighting against during this Esther's fasting is a very stubborn spirit. It's a spirit that is not going to let you go just like that. It is a spirit that is not going to let you rise just like that. It is a spirit that is not going to let you progress just like that it is a very stubborn spirit and the only thing that can bring this spirit to subjection is when the lord breaks the backbone of this spirit when i'm talking about the lord breaking the backbone of the spirit i'm talking about the lord as striking where it it matters the most in the camp of this stubborn enemy it is when god is going to win 
weaken this spirit by giving it a very strong and painful blow. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So as we embark on this Esther's fasting, I want you to understand that you are targeting that the Lord gives a very painful and a very, um, a very, what can I say? A very painful blow that the Lord is going to break the backbone of this stubborn enemy. That the Lord is going to break this, the backbone of this stubborn pursuer of your life. The Lord is going to hit where it matters the most in the camp of the enemy so that the enemy can let you go, so that the enemy can release you. I don't know what matters the most in the camp of your own enemy, but I just want you to pray that God, where it matters the most in the camp of the enemy, strike there during this Esther's fasting. That is our target because on Hannah platform we make targeted prayers if God is not going to strike where it matters the most Pharaoh is not going to let you go I want you to understand that when Moses was uh, performing all the instructions of God when God said Pharaoh could not let the people go Pharaoh could not let the people go Pharaoh Pharaoh could not let the people go. Mariva Karova ne internet si kidzi. Pharaoh could not let the people go. Kushika mari vaso chaga panga pai ne moyo. Kushika mari vaso chaga kuti. Where does it matter the most in Egypt? Where does it matter the most in Pharaoh's heart? I'm going to strike there. So I don't know where it matters the most, but God knows. God knows where it matters the most in the camp of your enemy, and we are making a targeted prayer that Lord it's only you who knows where it matters the most and I want you to strike right there so that this stubborn enemy this stubborn pursuer of my life is going to let me go so uh, that is the spirit of, of, of Pharaoh I said it's a very stubborn spirit and it's a spirit that would deny you any opportunity and any freedom that is the spirit of Pharaoh and it brings a recurring affliction and it also brings um it is a spirit it's a hard-hearted spirit spirit in a moyo wakaoma spirit is nga gwone kunyewe nuka spirit is na moyo unomuvwa nekuru wadzi wakwevanu so that is the spirit of Pharaoh and um Pharaoh uh, so I've talked about uh, the spirit of Pharaoh and I'm also going to talk about um, the taskmasters I'm going to talk about the taskmasters um Exodus uh, chapter 1 verse 11 uh, to 14 those with mobile Bibles can you please move with me Exodus chapter 1 let's go to Exodus chapter 1 verse uh, 14 Exodus chapter 1 verse 11 to 14 verse 11 to 14 I'm going to read so they put slave masters over them too I want you to take note they put slave masters over them they put slave masters over the children of israel um to oppress them with forced labor to oppress them with forced labor so the spirit of pharaoh and the taskmasters are there to oppress and to 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 to, to let you um, go under forced labor. Uh, ushande because urukuda, but uno shanda ne kutu uruku manikidwa. And they built Pithom and Ramses as store cities for Pharaoh. Okay, let me start from verse 8. Then a new king to whom Joseph meant nothing came to power in Egypt. Look, he said to his people, the Israelites have become far too numerous for us. So the spirit of Pharaoh is a spirit that doesn't want multiplication. It is a spirit that doesn't want you to multiply. Because he is saying, look, the Israelites, uh, look, he said to his people, the Israelites have become far too numerous 
for us. So the spirit of Pharaoh is a spirit that 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 doesn't want multiplication. I tombode kuanda kwevanu. I tombode ku increase kwevanu. I tombode uh progress yevanu. It's a spirit that doesn't want multiplication and increase. Then number two, come, we must deal shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous. So it is a spirit that will try to weaken you. It is a spirit that will try to block any form of multiplication and any form of increase. Let us, uh, unless, uh, be, be, let us uh, deal shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous and if war breaks out we will join our enemies fight against us and leave the country so it's a spirit that doesn't want you to live the spirit of pharaoh is a spirit that doesn't want you to come out of bondage it is a spirit that doesn't want you to come out of captivity because they are saying they are becoming numerous they are increasing they are multiplying lest when an enemy rises against them they join that enemy and defeat us and then leave the country so, mweya wa faro, mweya usinga de kuti ubude mu bondage, mweya usinga de kuti ubude mu captivity. I said it in the previous uh, live stream when I was saying that this uh, spirit of Pharaoh doesn't want to let you go because it is a spirit that benefits from your pain. It is a spirit that benefits from your bondage. It is a spirit that benefits from uh, you being a slave. So they didn't want the children of Israel to leave the country. Just like your enemy would not like you to leave, to, to come out of his bondage, to come out of his captivity. is a stubborn spirit. Then, um, so they put slave masters over them. Now, these slave masters... In this case, they were slave masters. What they were supposed to do was to make sure that Israel, the Israelites were saving. It was to make sure that the Israelites were um, molding bricks. It was make, to make sure that the Israelites were saving under hard bondage. Just like right now, there are some masters who are there to make sure that you are attacked by the spiritual husband every day. There are some slave masters who are there to make sure that you are working very hard in that company, but you are not getting anything in return. There are some slave masters who are making sure that you work very hard, but when it comes to profit, you don't get anything. They are different kinds of slave masters in our lives right now. Some of these slave masters are that just there to make sure that you don't conceive. Some of these slave masters are there to just make sure that uh, you do not run a profitable business. Some of these slave masters are just there to make sure that you, you, are, you are not going to get employed or you are not going to be promoted in that company. That is the purpose and the mission of slave masters. And how many slave masters are in your life right now? How many task masters are in your life right now? So they set slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor. And they built Pithom and Ramses as tall cities for Pharaoh. It is the Israelites who built Pithom and Ramses as two cities for Pharaoh. What am I talking about? From your pain, from your bondage, from your captivity, there are people who are building cities. Pharaoh built Pithom and Ramses out of the slavery of uh, the children of Israel, out of the hard bondage of the children of Israel. How many cities have been built because you are in captivity? How many cities have been built because you are in pain? How many cities have been built because you have been working so hard yet you couldn't realize the profits? There are people who are building cities. There are people who are building castles from you being under in their captivity, from you being their slave. 
Kune vanu varukuva kama cities. Kune vanu varukuva kama empires. Kune vanu varukuva ka um, varuku builda ma properties from your pain, from your misery. Fero anga sina basa nazo. Jekuti vanawe Israel vazo foro majidina sei. Jekuti vanawe Israel vazo ruwazi wa sei vazo chema sei. Taaida chete kuti jidina jiforo miwe. Maguta aida avakwe. And these cities, the, the, the Bible is saying there were store cities for Pharaoh. Manga angari mama cities e kuchenge terajino. How many of you are building store cities for your enemies? How many of you are building store cities for your stubborn enemies? Kutikune muno ane business iriku rana right now because iwewe uruku tormentwa every night ne spiritual husband. Kutikune muno ariku ane business iriku manya every day right now because iwewe uruku netana ne murume mumba every day. Kutikune muno ane business iriku rana because iwewe wakarambwa ne murume uka zoka kumba. Kune muno ane business Riku rana right now because you were wakadzingwa basa. Kune muno ane business riku rana right now because you were wakachoboka. Aunaka na sendi rawinar. How many of you? How many of you are under bondage? How many of you are saving under Pharaoh right now? How many of you are saving under Pharaoh right now? Kuvaka maguta. Ere ere. Pharaoh kuvaka maguta. Pitom and Ramses. Because of the pain and the misery of the children of Israel. Because you were in pain. Because you are in affliction. Kurwara kume kwa uruku itaikoko, itori profit kuna umwe munu. Kurwara kume kwa uruku itaikoko, kutukukukukukukuto benefita umwe munu. Kune umwe munu, aneja kejuru kutofamba, nekuda kwe kurwara kwako. I've, I've heard so many stories of uh, van vanorwara, vanorwara pfungwa vaeva. Once wana chiti, ah, murukona ui, kurwara kwa uruku itaikoko kuku, abam kuruvake watorine business, iruku manya, jisingaite, pese pani nga achifamba, achitendere la shaharu kuita hizo jishu business, nenge richifamba, ndio kuanda kunenge kuchita ma customer, mu business ravo. Kuna kuti kupenga kwe umwe munu, i profit kuna umwe munu. Kupenga kwe umwe munu, kuvaka, kuvaka kwe ma supermarket, ne ma shop, kumupenyo wa umwe munu. Am I talking to somebody? Vanave Israel wachichema wachiruadziwa, fero harukuwa kama guta. Iwo uchichema uchiruadziwa, kuna umwe munu harukuwa kama empires, kuna umwe munu harukuwa kama guta. But this is the spirit that we want to fight against. This is the spirit that we want to pray against during this Esther's fasting. Apa nruda nko dena asha zako, nruda nko dena mweya wako kutikana taku pinda pa Esther's fasting. Because right now kune vamwe who are watching me right now, gachit, ah, inina antisku tanya, but in chango joina in prayers. Nruda nko kupa shungu ze kuti join in this Esther's fasting because we need results. You need to come out of bondage. You need to come out of captivity. So, that was the spirit of Pharaoh. That was the spirit of Pharaoh. And they built two empires. Um, but the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. So the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites and worked them ruthlessly. And they worked them ruthlessly. They made their lives bitter. They made their lives bitter. How many of you are bitter right now because of the life that you are living? How many of you are bitter right now because of your marriage? How many of you are bitter right now because of your career? How many of you are bitter right now because of the battles that you are facing in your lives? They made them bitter. They and worked them ruthlessly. They made their lives bitter with harsh labor in brick and mortar and with all kinds of work in the fields. In all their harsh labor, the Egyptians worked them ruthlessly. Do pekuti spiritual husband, you know, we are inoku ravuza left, right, and center. Maneru ese. 
Wogo tomu ka uchinzwa uti pano nyama zakaneta. Wogo tomu ka uchinzwa uti pano pane shangazu chitika. Because he is working you ruthlessly to make your life bitter, to make your life miserable. So that is the spirit of Pharaoh. That is the spirit of Pharaoh. Uh, now let us um, turn our Bibles to Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. Those with mobile Bibles, move with me. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers. I have heard their cry because of their slave drivers. We are talking about taskmasters. We are talking about slave masters. We are talking about slave drivers. So the children of Israel were crying out because of their taskmasters. Just like we are going to cry out during this Esther's fasting because of our taskmasters, because of evil taskmasters, because of evil slave drivers. So kuchema. Just like God is going to hear us when we cry during this Esther's fasting. Just like God is going to hear us groaning during this Esther's fasting. We are going to come out. Tinopa Buddha chete because Mari kuchema kwedu. Just like he had the children of Israel under Pharaoh. So uh, those we are talking about slave masters. Now let's turn our Bibles to also Exodus chapter five. Uh, verse 5 to 8. Exodus chapter 5, verse 5 to 8. Then Pharaoh said, Look, the people of the land are now numerous, and you are stopping them from working. That same day, Pharaoh gave this order to the slave drivers and overseers in charge of the people. So it means, in the camp of the enemy, there is Pharaoh. One, they are taskmasters. Two, they are overseers who are there to oversee you serving in bondage. Who are there to oversee you in misery, in pain, in agony. Kutori nema taskmasters, kunema overseers. Manenga wangu ripo kumonita, kuonoti, jiriku diwana fero ndo jiriku itika ere. Vari kunya to ruwazi wa ere wanawa. Vari kunya to shanda ere under hard labor za trukuda. So, kune, kune three, three, three types, three categories of people in their camp. There is fero, they are taskmasters and they are overseers. But it's no Buddha, Shakadaro. Panafero i papoti no Buddha. Panema overseers i papoti riku Buddha. Panema taskmasters i papoti riku Buddha. So, let's read, let's read, let's read. Verse 5 to 8. Verse 5 to 8. Um... That same day, Pharaoh gave his orders to the slave drivers and overseers in charge of the people. You are no longer to supply the people with straw for making bricks. Let them go and gather their own straw. But require them to make the same number of bricks as before. Don't reduce the quota. They are lazy. That is why they are crying out. Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Make the work harder for the people so that they keep working and pay no attention to lies. So, the spirit of Pharaoh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of Pharaoh is a spirit that doesn't want people to sacrifice to God. It is a spirit that doesn't want people to serve God. It is a spirit that doesn't want people to dedicate time for God. Because in this case, Nekutiva nave Israel wa chema kutitoda kuno pa kuno baira kuna mari wedu and to dombono na mata. Feral kuti make them serve even under hard and strict conditions because they are crying out kuti vayende kuno sacrifice kuna mari wawo. So it's a spirit that fights against sacrifices. It's a spirit that doesn't want people to dedicate their time to God. 
au mweya usingatode kuti vanhu vana matemwari mweya unorambidza vanhu kuna matamwari and we are living in such times and we are living in such times mwari ngavati batsire so that is the spirit of pharaoh that is the spirit of pharaoh and that is uh, what the taskmasters do now i want us to turn our bibles to acts chapter 18 acts chapter 18 acts oh sorry uh, acts chapter 18 acts chapter 16 i i guess Acts chapter 16 it should be Acts chapter 16 verse 18 to 19 those with mobile bibles please move with me Acts chapter 16 Acts chapter 16 verse 18 to 19 verse 18 to 19 um, she kept this up for many days finally Paul became so annoyed that he turned around and said to the spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of here. At that moment, the spirit left here. When he owners realized, when he owners, he owners, meaning they were masters, they were taskmasters for this little girl. When he owners realized that their hope of making money, was gone they seized Paul and silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face authorities when when her owners when her masters when her taskmasters when her overseers realized that their source of profit their source of gain had been destroyed they dragged Paul and silas to prison but manero anasi ndikuda kuti unamate kuti mwari assign my moses assign my paul to deliver me from captivity to deliver me from bondage zvaingoda paul in the life of this little girl kutango yataura kuti i command you in the name of jesus come out of here and the spirit came out of this little girl kurakuti kuva Kwemwe ya uyu mumusika na uyu. Kune profit ya ijenareteka. There, is, uh, there are some people who were gaining from a certain evil spirit being in this girl. Do you know kuti kune man wariku benefita ne ma demon arima uri. Kune man wariku benefita ne mwe yae china irima uri. Kune man vaito, vaito wana profit. Kune man vaito wana gain. Nema mepanga ari pamwana sikana uyu kushika po azoshatirwa every day my fura mwana uyu achitaura the same thing but on this particular day Paul got annoyed and he was angry and he said I command you right now to come out of here Manero anasi and during this Esther's fasting we are praying that let the pause of our generation arise let the Moseses of our generation arise and let us be delivered from captivity. Let us be delivered from bondage. Parukucha gwa Moses, parukucha gwa Paul during this Esther's fasting. Anoya oti Buddha maari. Anoya oti sunungura vana avandanzi. Ndiva sunungure, ndiva endese to their promised land. But like I said before, we need a Moses with the right mentor. The Moses akawaya asina mentor. I gonna kuva irrelevant in the case and the situation of the children of Israel. Marindo vavato ziva kuti mission yandri kutuma mkoma na uyu. Anofandro kwenge aine mentor that is right for this task. Do vavampa a mentor. So, which I wanna kuti pese parukufamba Moses never nave Israel. This mentor is performing um, its mission and its role. Pavano shika pa Red Sea and Pharaoh is pursuing them. Moses anongo sumu za mentor oro wa mvura. Mvura yopa za nukavo crosser on dry ground. Pharaoh paharku za makupesua. Moses osumu za futi mentor oro wa mvura. Mvura yo varira Pharaoh. Never, ne, 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 never arugibake. 
So we need a during this Esther's fasting, we need a Moses who is going to come with a mentor. Maybe you you want a Moses who is going to 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 come and uh, deliver you uh, from debts. So the right person that you need is a person who is going to come maybe with a cap with capital for you to start a business. The right person that you need is a person who is going to come to you with with a business idea or uh, with 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 um with wisdom on how to manage your finances. That is the right person that you need to get out of debt. So we need, we are going to pray and say, God, assign the right person, assign the right helper for my situation. So, during this Esther's fasting, you are praying that God assign the right people for my situation during these three days. Assign the right people with the right mentor for my situation during these three days. But how we are not the right help that you need at this particular time right people with the right uh, kind of assistance that you really need Teach it, as I am speaking right now, may the angels of God begin to steer those people. May the angel of the Lord begin to search for those people. And may they begin to direct them to you. May those angels begin to direct those right people into your life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may the right people, may you have an encounter with the right people. May you have an encounter with the right people during these three days. May the Lord God assign the right people who are going to help you out of bondage, out of captivity during these uh, three days. Nyaya yemu zimai angari mkadzwe we a certain prophet. Arkuti murume wangu akafa. Arkuenda ku 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 na prophet. Oshkoti murume wangu akafa. But muno jizoti muno aida mari. But pa akafa akasia tiri mujikwereti. Jekuti vanu varukuronda jikwereti vau ya kutiva tore vana wangu. Vanu itama slaves. So that they can pay the debt. Mariva kamu director to the right person, akampa the right help that she needed at that particular time. The first thing is God directed her to a prophet who gave her a word of wisdom. Number two, God directed her to the right people who had the vessels that she needed. Am I talking to somebody? God directed here to the right people. Vangavane ma vessel anganzi. Chagama vessels akawanda. We enter uno shifarira mumba. So it is my prayer that during these three days, God is going to assign such people into your life. People who are going to come with a word of wisdom. People who are going to come with the right vessels that you need for your breakthrough. The right mentors that you need for your breakthrough. I think Ndinema prayer points and Akambo Tumira, Dishiti, pray for your Moses to locate you. So during these three days, you are going to pray for those people to locate you. During these three days, if it's somebody who is going to say, bring your CV, drop your CV, may the Lord assign them into your life. If it's somebody who is going to say, ah, naiwe, ntine brother yangu, arukuchagao, somebody to marry. Aunga dio, are you not interested? Kutimungo onana, then kanosunga dako, you can choose. Mwari gawa direct evanu wakadaro, muupenyu wako, pa three days hizo zizi. Pa three days hizo, jungo sanga nyamu na noti, ah, sha, pane friend yangu ya kango kuona kawan, but haka kufarira. Mwari gawa direct evanu wakadaro, muupenyu wako. Mwari gawa direct evanu wakadaro, muupenyu wako. And one list we are on this 
these three days and even after these three days because sometimes a release may come after the three days of Esther's fasting. I told you I want you to be very sensitive to the people of Aucha Sangana now because you don't know the package in which your Moses is going to come. You don't know the package in which your Paul is going to come. You don't know the package in which your Elisha is going to come. So you need to be very sensitive. And I, 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 I gave a reference. This is Rebecca, Paka on a servant, ya, ya Abraham, iri patsime. De angaru mwe munu, akaita attitude nae. De angaru mwe munu, akangot, ah, and I, I don't have any interest in this man. But akamu bata jakanaka, akampa mvraye kunwa, akacherera, even ngamera zake mvura, ndo paru kusangana nemu nana wake wa Isaac, ndo paru kusangana nemu nana wake, wemu ruma akazo murora. So I'm saying be very sensitive to the people that you are going to meet during and after this Esther's fasting, because some of them may be the right people that you need for your breakthrough. They may be the the right people that you need for your testimony. Am I ministering to somebody tonight? Am I ministering to somebody tonight? So be very sensitive because you don't know the package in which your Moses is going to come. You don't know the package in which your Paul is going to come. You don't know the package in which your Elisha is going to come. Still on that, remember the story of the widow of Zarephath. Mwari ndo kutuma Elisha kuimba ye mkazi we Zarefat. Jukanze ndai koko nda mraira kuti akupe chikafu. Ndo na uti ndi kubvunze kuti dayi wai weiwe mkazi we Zarefat. Wego not ah munu wa mwari ano kumbira jekujika kwa ndiri nini. But mkazi we Zarefat akati andi gone kumu ignore. Ndo kuwa amu pache kujika. Amu pache kujika. She be, Elisha becomes uh, her source because after giving to the man of God what she had, the Bible says, Ye cruise and ye barrel never ran dry. But he was a stranger. Maybe it can be a stranger and onongo sangana na onai. Maybe it can be a stranger and onongo oya opamba pako. Ndo kumbira o kalamine embe zamu singa chapeki kutimundi peo. Then waiter attitude nae. Yet you don't know that maybe by giving ye that one skirt ya wakai samu embe zamu singa chapeki you are going to break through. That is why I'm saying be very sensitive during this Esther's fasting because you don't know how the Lord is going to get you out of that bondage, out of that captivity. By just giving to a stranger, by just giving to the man of God, this widow of Zarephath had providence until uh, the famine ended. So Eli Elisha became uh, a deliverer for this uh, widow of Zarephath. I, I, I guess I'm talking to somebody. I guess I'm talking to, to somebody. So Right. I said there are two blows that we want God to give to our stubborn enemies. There are two, just two blows, because there are two blows that worked uh, against Pharaoh. There are two blows that worked against Pharaoh. The first blow was the blow of um, the first bonds. The first blow was the blow of the first bonds. We are going to read from Exodus chapter 12, verse 29. Exodus chapter 12, verse 29. Those with more Bibles, please move with me. Exodus 12, verse 29. Exodus 12, verse 29. At midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborns in Egypt. Maybe you were wondering why uh, tighter our live stream at midnight today. This is the reason. This is the reason. Midnight is an effective 
hour of prayer. So at midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborns in Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on the throne, to the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the dungeon, and the firstborn of all the livestock as well. At midnight, God struck all the firstborns in Egypt. Kuva kudangwe ra fero, kwenda kudangwe re slave, yangairi mumbama fero, kwenda kudangwe re nkuru, ve dangwe re mpuzi, dangwe re gwai, dangwe re mompe, rangamu And I want you to take note, kuti, these firstborns, they mattered the most in Egypt. Wakaverenga, the history of the Egyptians, you would, you will find out that these firstborns were like gods in Egypt. Vaito na matwa, chinuchese changachiri firstborn in Egypt, China matwa, it was like a god to them. So maripavari kuno rova ma firstborn, varova nongonya. Yemu venki wa Israel. Varova moyo. Wemu venki wa Israel. And kana varova moyo. The enemy cannot do anything. Rather uh, besides giving up. Pharaoh akasi wa asisina choice. Why? Because marivanga wano baya panorwadza. Wazo nzwa mimba kuyimba munoti fuzi rei. Ne panorwadza moyo. Pane pangwe panorwadza moyo. Pane pangwe peguti pakabatwa. Moyo uno varuka. Pane pangwe peguti pakabatwa. Muvenki ano sarenda. Muvenki ano, ano toroti declare a truce in your own terms. That is what happened to Pharaoh when the firstborns were killed. That is why I said we want to make targeted prayers. We want just two blows. Pharaoh needed two blows for him to let go of the children of Israel. And the first blow is of the firstborns. Let us read on and find out what happened after the firstborns were killed. Um... Pharaoh and all his officials and all the Egyptians got up during the night and there was loud wailing in Egypt for there was not a house without someone dead. During the night, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron. Pakati pe usiku ipapo. Maneri wa yo shichiba kuitika. Pharaoh ndo vadana Moses na Aaron. Varume wa hai rampira achi beja kuti. Hakuna chichi nonzi mwari. Wenu cha muno da kuti nditerere. Varume wa hai bejera kutandisku zokure gezai. Vachichinja mvura kuita ropa. Achiramba. Vachichinja dust kuita inda. Achiramba. Vachitumira, vachirege zerama frogs kwa Egypt Achiramba But pakati peu sikunda Paro wapamoyo Pakati peu sikunda Abati wapanor waza He summoned Moses and Aaron Payapa wakambo na mata jikaramba Payapa wakambo tsanya jikaramba Ruwento runo marivari kuno rova nongonya Ruwento runo marivari kuno rova pamoyo Ano kurege za chete Ano kurege za chete. Zanzi, ipa popa katipe usiku. Fero ndo vasamo na Moses na Aaron. Vai mbora mba kutere raivavo. Iko zino waku vadaiza. He summoned them, Moses and Aaron, and said, Up, leave my people, you and the Israelites. Hey, hey, hey. Marika na waku taura. Marika na waku dakuru giravavo. Dear Faro Airamba, Akuti is Jesus Siku Uno. Leave my people, you and all the Israelites. Go, worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and heads as you have said, and go and also bless me. Tora is Jesse Mubude. Do not upa batisise. Fero aito mbora mba Moses ati Ati ta kuenda shukanzi kana ma kuenda Asimusa ingane mombe zenyu Waka verenga exoda sucha inzwa nye yoy Makana ma kuenda endai asimombe Musa enda nazo But iko jino wakuti Endai imimi nejifuyo zenyu jese Pane pamwe pa waka mbo ita kunge ware gezwa But avana kule geza marizako Pane pamwe pa waka mbo ita kunge ware gezwa But avana kule geza marizako 
kuregenza muchato but avana kuregenza business avana kuregenza career yako but rwendo runo marika na vano rova chaipo chaipo vacha kuregenza nezvako zvese kana mari vano rova chaipo chaipo vano kuregenza nezvako zvese the egyptians aged the people to hurry and leave the country imagine what utaregets wa kunge zimberi rikupisa faro acha kuregetsa kunge zimberi rikupisa nemoto ndati vaimboramba kukuregetsa vacha kuregetsa kunge wazimbe remoto they are going to let you go as if you are a core of fire in their hands vano kuregetsa chete ndati Isusu our prayer and ye kungoti mwari Rwendo runo inde imuno rova pane moyo Inde imuno rova chaipo chaipo Pano ita kutivandire gezi Inde imuno rova chaipo chaipo Pano ita kutivaite kutimanyisa Tichi uda mu captivity Tichi uda mbondage Imagine mbondage makuitwa shukunzi Tito kasika imubude Vanga waka mboku varira ndova Kuto ita kukutina kutibuda Buda, Buda, ndikuwa na wame vanu wachita kutimu wakuti Buda hii, muari za wanga waka variwa. Ndikuwa na wame vanu wachita kutimu wakuti Buda hii, muma bodora wanga waka variwa. Ndikuwa na wame vanu wachita kutimu wakuti Buda, my God, unopa Buda chete, unopuda chete wendoru uno, unoreke zwa ende unopuda nestara jesu. And the people were hurting them. Let's read. The Egyptians urged the people to hurry and leave the country. For otherwise, they said, we will all die. Hey! Up and up and no farira. Or otherwise, we will all die. It's a declaration that you are going to make. Let me go or you will all die. In your coven, let me go or you will all die. In your camp, let me go or you will all die. As I Moses, can Aaron and Boba Uza, as he are Kutaura, even my Egyptians, Pachamo and Dova Kutaura, could you please hurry and leave the country or else we will all die? Vakango Tanza Kukure gets a rent or runo, Vano Pafa Chete, Vakango Tanza Kure gets a basarako rent or runo, Vano Pafa Chete, Vakatanza Kure gets a marriage yako rent or runo, Vano Fachete, Vakatanza. Kuregeza keria yako Wendo runo vano fachete Chimbo denze rakuti let me go Or else you die Let me go or else you all die Andi zive kempi yavo Andi zive kutivankani mukoveni mavo Andi zive kutivankani muligi mavo Pawano garamachare Vachita uranezako But ndodongo tungo denze rakuti Let me go or else you all die Makangoramba makandibata mesemuru Keep on declaring it through the three days of Esther's fasting. Dire get zeika na kutimu nonto weru furu kuwea. Dire get zeika na kutimu rikufa. Let me go or else you die. Let me go or else you die. Let me go or else you die. That is Exodus chapter 12 verse 33. Exodus chapter 12 verse 33 mark it and meditate upon it during this Esther's fasting. So the people took their door before the yeast was added and carried it on their shoulders in the kneading troughs wrapped in clothing. The Israelites did as Moses instructed and asked the Egyptians for articles of silver and gold and for clothing. The Lord had made the Egyptians favorably disposed posed toward the people and they gave them what they asked for so they plundered the egyptians chikunzero chichaita kuti uva plande inyaye kuti va kuchika kufa saka when they are saying hurry and leave the country or else we all die now if you are going to ask them kuti give me my money give me a car give me a house give me a job give me a business they are going to give it to you because mari kuchka kuti vakaregedza kukupa utaramba uripo and ukaramba uripo vese vachafa 
the Egyptians had said, leave the country, hurry and leave the country, or else we'll all die. Now the, the Israelites are saying, Chitipai or gold, Chitipai or silver, Chitipai or neembe ze kupfeka. And because even mumoyomawa vakuchka, vakuti, let us just give them everything that they are asking for so that they can live hurriedly, so that they can live and we can all survive. Unobuda cheta asinda kataura kuta, ubuda usina chako, Unobuda sa ubude wakabata maoko. Unobuda unesha wakabata. Unobuda unesha unobatika. Nda mwari wati nona mata paana. Ndi mwari wa unobatika. Varimu sacrifice group. They know kutiti nona mata. Mwari wa unobatika. A God of tangible testimonies. A God of undeniable testimonies. Mwariwa no pama testimony ano batika. Mwariwa no pama testimony ano oneka. E kuti ifeni muroi wako hako neku jiramba. Kutikuna mwarinda testimony yacho inenge iripo ichi oneka. This is what is going to happen. You will not go out empty handed. You will not go out empty handed. You will go out with gold and with silver. And with your heads and your flocks. Unobuda chete, unobuda chete wendorunu, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So, that was the first blow. First blow, ka, my first born ese afa. We don't know the first blow that God is going to give to our stubborn enemies and our stubborn pursuers. But mangwana ese, your prayer should be mari, indaimu no rova, pano pisa pacho, indaimu no rova, Pacho pakava koshera. Indai muno rova. Pacho pavanoti ndipo cha ipo cha ipo. That is blow number one that we want. Second blow. Let us go. Those with mobile Bibles go with me. Second blow. Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14. Verse 16. Exodus chapter 14, verse 16. Those with mobile Bibles, please help me. So, uh, let's start from verse 15. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go in after them and I will gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army. Chatiri kudapa estas fasti ino. It's for God to gain glory. May God gain glory over every pharaoh of your life. May God gain glory over every stubborn pursuer of your life. And God is saying, I will gain glory. I will gain myself glory. Marijite ikuti jishamise. Marijite ikuti muonekwe. Marijite ikuti murumpidwe. Jese jichaitwa na maripa estas fasting ino. Jino fani ruwaku unza glory kwa vari. Jino fani ruwaku unza... Jino fani ruwaku unza kuunza kurumpidza kwa vari. And I will gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army, through his chariots and his horsemen. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I gain glory through Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. Then the angel of God, who had been traveling in front of Israel's army, withdrew and went behind them. The pillar of cloud also moved from in front and stood behind them, coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel. So, during this Esther's fasting, let a cloud separate you from your stubborn pursuers and stubborn enemies. Let the cloud of God separate you from your stubborn pursuers. Because the reason why 
they can still pursue you. The reason why they can still monitor you. The reason why they can still see you is because But when, when the cloud of God comes between you and them, they cannot monitor you and they cannot pursue you anymore. So let the cloud of God come between you and your enemies during this Esther's fasting. Let the cloud of God come between you and your Pharaoh. Let the cloud of God come between you and your adversaries during this Esther's fasting. Throughout the night, the cloud brought darkness to the camp of the Egyptians. Let this cloud bring darkness to the camp of the Egyptians and light to the other side. So neither went near the other all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind. We are praying for a strong east wind. We are praying for a strong east wind to part the Red Sea for us. Oh God, assign your strong east wind to part the Red Sea for us. Pat panoti remera kuyambuka. Pangapachiti remera kuyambuka. Mari, assign your east wind. Assign your east wind to make a way for us. Assign your east wind to make a way for us. And turned into dry and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided, and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued them, and all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea. During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud at the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. He jammed the wheels of their chariots so that they had difficulty driving. They want to pursue you during this Esther's fasting. Let them pursue you. But your prayer is, God, take off the wheels of their vehicles and ground them. Take off the wheels of their chariots and ground them. So when the wheels are taken off, one, they cannot pursue you. They cannot advance towards you. Number two, they cannot escape. They cannot run away from you because the wheels of their vehicles, the wheels of their chariots have been taken off. So that is another prayer point. Oh God, take off the wheels of their chariots that they will not pursue me and that they will not escape from your wrath. Let's see now that the wheels of their chariots had been taken off. And the Egyptians said, let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Wako is going to acknowledge that God is surely fighting for you. That God is truly fighting for you. The Israelites acknowledged and admitted, let us run away from these Israelites because God, their God is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Let them acknowledge during this Esther's fasting that God is surely fighting for you, that God is truly fighting for you. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and at daybreak the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing towards it and the Lord swept them into the sea. The water flowed back and covered the chariots and horsemen. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea, not one of them survived. Let all your stubborn pursuers perish in the Red Sea. Let all your stubborn enemies perish in the Red Sea. So another prayer point is God. 
I drag every stubborn enemy and every stubborn pharaoh of my life to the sea of judgment. I drag them to the river of judgment. Let the, let the Red Sea drown them. Let the Red Sea swallow them. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord God drown them. May the Lord God cause the Red Sea to swallow them. So that was the second and the final blow to the Egyptians. That was the second and the final blow to the Egyptians. So during this Esther's fasting, you are also praying that God swallow all my stubborn pursuers in the Red Sea. Let them be swallowed up and let none of them survive. Let them be swallowed up in the Red Sea and let none of them escape. Because let the wheels of their chariots be taken off. Now swallow them. Let them perish. Let them all perish in the Red Sea and let none of them escape. Let none of them escape. Because Pakaita no escape. So let none of them escape in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So, uh, that's another prayer point. I said you should pray with every pharaoh of my life. Tonight, I subject you to the Red Sea. I drag you to your sea of judgment. In the name of Jesus, that is another prayer point. Another prayer point, let the wheels of their chariots be taken off. Let them be grounded. Let them be swallowed up. Let them all perish in Jesus' mighty name. Then third prayer point, Mari, and I muno rova pakava koshera. And I muno rova panova rwadza during this Esther's fasting in Jesus' mighty name. Then prayer point number four. Prayer point number four is going to be a scriptural meditation. Ezekiel chapter 29. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 29. Atina kana kweku manjira na asin. Dwa saka ndato itapa midnight pano. Chitanga estas fast nyedu. Mangwantu skira taka rara chingo meditate. Chiti tika mkatombo na mati. Saka teku manjira apana. Apana kwa truku mbo manjira. We are here. Ezekiel chapter 29. Verse 2 to 5. Ezekiel chapter 29, verse 2 to 5. Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him, against all Egypt. Speak to him and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says. So prayer point number four is you are prophesying against Pharaoh based on this scripture. I am against you, Pharaoh, king of Egypt. You great monster lying among your streams. You say the Nile belongs to me. I made it for myself. But I will put hooks in your jaws. And make the fish of your streams stick to your scales. I will pull you out from among your streams. With all the fish sticking to your scales, I will leave you in the desert and all the fish of your streams. You will fall on the open field and not be gathered or picked up. I will give you as food to the beasts of the earth and the birds of the sky. Now you are prophesying against the spirit of Pharaoh. Now you are prophesying against the spirit of Pharaoh, against your stubborn pursuers, against your stubborn enemies. Standing on Ezekiel chapter 29 verse 2 to verse 5. You are prophesying against those stubborn pursuers in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, um, those are the prayer points that we are going to focus mostly on, on our first day, uh, and even throughout the fasting, we are going to focus more on those four prayer points, two strong blows for Pharaoh, then let their, their, the wheels of their chariots be grounded, and this prophecy word of prophecy against um against um pharaoh uh standing on ezekiel chapter 29 verse 2 from verse 2 to verse 5 now um let's get into a time of prayer 
let's get into a time of prayer let's get into a time of prayer thank you jesus thank you spirit of the living god egisanda you are saying we are at work or oh, i'm sorry for those who are at work maybe you can you can also uh uh watch the live stream tomorrow in the morning to follow on the prayers you can watch the live stream tomorrow in the morning uh we are getting into a time of prayer we are getting into a time of prayer now we are getting into a time of prayer now in the name of jesus thank you spirit of the living god let's get ready for prayers 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 thank you jesus mm. so uh they are today we are going to pray to get out into to get out of um three three types of bondage we are we are going to have prayers to get out of three types of bondage uh bondage number one get out of the bondage of sickness number two get out of the bondage of poverty and number three get out of the bondage of uh barrenness so those are the three areas that we are going to cover today tomorrow we cover uh other areas and also on our third day we cover other areas today we are going to pray to get out of uh, the bondage of sickness in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus if you are here and you are not well or you've got a relative who is not feeling well we are going to pray to get out of bondage uh but uh mm, i've got some few scriptures that i want to share uh for healing I've got a few scriptures that I want to share for healing. We are not going to read. We are not going to read those scriptures. I'm going to just to read through. And uh, those uh, who can type, you type for me. So that those who, who, who watch the live stream later on, they can follow on those scriptures. And then they can um, maybe copy them and paste them somewhere. And they meditate on those scriptures or if you have got somebody who is sick maybe they cannot uh read their bible you can as well read those uh verses um make an audio reading those scriptures and uh play that audio for them uh maybe you can put some earphones into their ears so that they can listen to those scriptures maybe on repeat so that um faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god we may boast their faith that god can still heal them and god can still deliver them and then they receive their healing uh, so uh, i'm going to give the scriptures revelations chapter 21 revelations sorry mark chapter 5 verse 34 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 then um revelations uh 21 verse 4 revelations 21 verse 4 um james chapter 5 verse 14 to 16 james chapter 5 verse 14 to 16 this one we are going to read it and it's the one that we are also going to use uh on our prayers james chapter 5 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 verse 14 to 16 then uh first peter first peter chapter 2 verse 24 first peter chapter 2 verse 24 psalms 103 verse 1 to 5 psalms 103 verse 1 to 5 matthew chapter 4 verse 23 matthew chapter 4 verse 23 exodus chapter 15 verse 26 exodus chapter 15 verse 26 so those are the scriptures 
that um, I want us to use. Those are the scriptures that I want us to use. I say James, James chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. James chapter 5, verse 14 to 16 is the, the scripture that we are going to use. So those for those who are sick or you want to stand in place of somebody who is not well, I want you to get um, anointing oil. I want you to get anointing oil. I want you to get anointing oil. James chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. James chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. Um, James chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. Also, uh, may you please get a cup of water. 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 James chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. Is any among you, is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. They shall be forgiven him so i i said uh get anointing oil and also get a cup of water get anointing oil and also get a cup of water so i want us to pray if you are sick or you are standing in for somebody who is not feeling well i want us to pray now i want you to pray and say blood of jesus blood of jesus flush out every satanic poison that is in my body blood of jesus flush out every satanic poison that is in my body on this prayer point i want you to hold your cup of water as you are holding that cup of water i am praying that that water becomes the blood of jesus that water becomes fire from the sanctuary as you partake of that water let every satanic poison let everything that is not of god any uh organisms that are causing sickness in your body let them be flushed out if there is any poison in your body that is causing that sickness let it be flushed out if there is any plantation in your body that is causing that sickness let it be uprooted in the mighty name of jesus because the bible says uh the sower went and sold um Bell. Then uh, the enemy at night came. Akajara Masawi. So they, some sometimes kurwara kwa uruki tapana kau ya akajara Masawi. Mubodi angaya gaziru na marisha kanaka. So we want to pray that if there is any plantation that is not of God in your body, let it be uprooted. Let it come out in the name of Jesus. So I want you to drink that water, and I want you to pray and say if there is any poison in my body that is making me sick if there is any poison in my body that is causing any disease any sickness any infirmity in my body i command it to come out i command it to be uprooted i command it to be flushed out by the blood of jesus right now blood of jesus begin to flow from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet i want you to begin to pray i want you to begin to pray after taking the water i want you to lay your hands on your head and i want you to pray and say every arrow of sickness that has been fired into my body I, that has been fired into my head i command you right now to jump out in the name of jesus i come out of captivity of sickness i come out of the bondage of sickness today in the name of jesus migraine headache i command you to go you spirit of madness and insanity i command you to 
God, in the name of Jesus, any evil arrow, any negative arrow, any arrow of sickness that has been fired into my head, any sickness, any arrow of confusion that has been fired into my, into my head, I command you right now to jump out in the name of Jesus. I command you to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Any tumor in my brain, I command you to melt. I command you to wither right now in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Flush out every tumor in my head. Remove every spirit of confusion. You migraine headache, I command you to lose your hold over me in the name of Jesus. Any demonic arrow that has been fired into my head, I command you to lose your hold. Now I want you to get anointing oil in your right hand. With your right hand of power and fire, I want you to anoint your forehead and command every arrow of sickness in my head. I command you to jump out right now. I command you to jump out right now. I command you to jump out right now. Every arrow of sickness, every arrow of sickness, I come out of the bondage of migraine headache. I come out of the bondage of insanity and madness. I come out of the bondage of confusion. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, come out of that bondage right now. Come out of that bondage right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, any arrow from the coven in your head, any arrow from any witchcraft coven in your head. I command it to jump out right now. I command it to jump out right now. I command it to jump out right now. Now I want you again to put anointing oil in your right hand of power and fire. And I want you to lay that hand on your, on your, on your neck. And I want you to pray and say any arrow that has been fired into my throat, any arrow that has been fired into my neck, I come in to my thyroid. I command you right now to jump out. I command you right now to jump out. I command you right now to jump out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of sickness fired into my thyroid. I command you to jump out. I command you to jump out. I command you to jump out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Now I want you to lay to anoint your chest. I want you to anoint your chest. As you anoint your chest, I want you to pray and say any arrow that has been fired into my lungs, any arrow that has been fired into my heart, I command you to jump out. Any arrow of sickness in my chest, any arrow of infirmity in my chest, I command you to jump out. I command you to jump out. You asthma, I command you to come out right now. I come out of the captivity of asthma. I come out of the captivity of COVID-19 in the name of Jesus as you are declaring. I want you to begin to cough out physically. As you are coughing out, I command your respiratory system to be cleared. I command your respiratory system to be flushed out. Let the blood of Jesus flush out every bug. Let the blood of Jesus flush out every poison in your chest, in your respiratory system, every blood blockage in your respiratory system. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Any arrow in your heart, I command it to jump out. I command it to jump out. I command it to jump out. Any arrow that has been fired into your heart, I command it to jump out in the name of Jesus. I command it to jump out in the name of Jesus. Now I want you to lay to anoint your stomach. I want you to anoint your stomach and I want you to pray and say any any arrow that was fired into my stomach, any arrow that was fired into my uterus, any arrow that was fired into my ovaries, I command you right now to jump out. I command you right now to jump out. I command every fibroid, I command every cyst to catch fire and come out of you right now in the name of Jesus. If they gave you any poison on any demonic altar, on any demonic table,
devil. I command that poison to come out. I command that poison to come out. I command that poison to come out. Begin to cough out physically. Begin to cough out physically. Let every satanic poison be flushed out of your body. Let every satanic plantation come out of your body. Come out of that captivity. Come out of that captivity. Captivity of cis. Captivity of fibroids. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. I command every arrow to come out. I command every arrow to jump out. I command every arrow to jump out. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Now I want you to anoint your sides. Any arrow that has been fired into my kidneys, I command you to jump out. Any arrow that has been fired into my loins, I command you to jump out. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus into my ovaries. I command you to come out. I command you to come out. Anything that is blocking my fallopian tubes, I command you to melt like wax. I command I want you to melt like wax right now. I come out of this captivity of barrenness. I come out of this captivity of barrenness. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let every arrow of sickness come out of your body. Let every arrow of sickness come out of your body. Now I want you to lay your right hand and anoint your spine. As you anoint your spine, I command every arrow in your spine not what one sana. I command every arrow in your spine to jump out right now. I command every arrow in your spine jump out right now. Jump out right now. Jump out right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every arrow that was fired into your spine. Every arrow that was fired into your spinal cord. Into your nervous system. I command it right now to come out. I command it right now to come out. I command it right now to come out. Any dislocation of bones in your spine, I command the Spirit of God and the angels of God to begin to align those bones in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to lay your hands on your feet, on your legs, and I want you to anoint them, and I want you to command any arrow of sickness in those legs, in your feet. I command it in the name of Jesus to jump out. I command it in the name of Jesus to jump out. I command it in the name of Jesus to jump out. Now I want you to lay both hands on your head, and I want you to pray and say fire from the sanctuary, the fire of God. God, electrify my body right now. Electrify my body right now. Let everything that is not of you come out. Let everything that is not of you manifest and come out of my body and come out of my body. Any captivity and any bondage of sickness and diseases and infirmities upon my life, I command you to expire right now. I command you to expire right now by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus continue to pray continue to pray let me know what is happening where you are if anything is happening let me know I want you to pray I want you to pray and say living waters flow throughout my body right now living waters begin to flow in all my veins and arteries in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Let your living waters begin to flow all over my body. Let your living waters begin to flow throughout, through, through all my body. Every part and every organ of my body receive the resurrection power. Receive the resurrection power. My lungs receive resurrection power. My heart receive resurrection power. My uterus receive resurrection power. My kidneys receive resurrection power. I come out of captivity. I come out of the captivity of sickness and diseases in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you. If anything happened during this uh, during the session of uh, sicknesses and diseases, please let me know before we move on to the next segment. If anything happened during this uh, session of sicknesses and diseases, let me know before we move on to the next uh, segment. Let me know, let me know, let me know before we move on to the next segment. If anything is happening or if anything happened, let me know before we move on so that Tinonya to it a deliverance. Topeds a to move on to the next uh, segment. Let me know if anything happened or if anything is happening uh, during this session. Yeah, yes, yeah, sickness, getting out of the captivity of sickness. Uh, Chantel Nube, you're saying I'm, I'm feeling dizzy. Be delivered by fire where you are right now. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Amanda, Tasha, Tina, receive new strength in all your joints and all your bones right now in the name of Jesus. Angela, my day, Muchena, I want you to cough out seven times. You're saying I'm feeling like vomiting. Cough out seven times and vomit that poison right now. Cough out seven times and vomit that poison in the name of Jesus. Heli, I'm noble. I want you to touch where it is, uh, where there is pain on your left side. I command that arrow to jump out right now. I command that arrow to jump out right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command that arrow to jump out. I command that arrow to jump out. Selo V. Mark. Kombe, you're saying I and my sister vomited. We thank God for the deliverance. We thank God for setting you free and for delivering you from satanic poisons. We thank God for delivering you in the name of Jesus. Please let me know. Elvia, Olivia Rufaro, you're saying I vomited then Musana Kuvava when I anointed Musana. Be delivered from any arrow in your spinal cord. Be delivered from any arrow. Melody Lovu, something is stuck on my throat. Cough out seven times right now and vomit that object. Cough out seven times and vomit that poison in the mighty name of Jesus. Patience, Charambani, I command that arrow to come out of your back right now. I command that arrow to come out, to jump out of your spine right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me know, let me know, Lord, let me know so that we can move on to the next segment. Tapeds are deliverance. Yepa sickness is up. My stomach got stiff and felt like something was moving. I command it to come out. I command you to vomit all your power hours right now in the name of Jesus you evil spirit I command you to vomit all your powers now vomit all your powers in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I felt the water wash over the stiff area in my side when we drank water be delivered be delivered permanently in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. In Spiwe Pagiwa, I want you to lay your right hand of power and fire on your stomach. I command that cyst right now to be uprooted and be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. I command that cyst to be uprooted right now. I command that cyst to be uprooted right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Let me know if anything is happening where you are. Let me know before we move on uh, to the spirit of poverty. Let me know before we move on to the spirit of poverty. Let me know if anything is happening where you are. Let me know. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then <clears throat> we move on. We move on to praying against the spirit of poverty. We move on to pray our way out of the bondage of poverty. Uh, before we, we start our prayers on this segment, I just want 
uh, to okay bulimbangwa is saying this is powerful my stomach marwazo and now manyarara glory to god you are delivered glory to god you are delivered uh we want to talk we want to pray our way out of our poverty bondage and i just want to say to everybody who is connected right now and to everybody who is going to listen to this live stream at any other time uh later on um the best way out of poverty is to be a giver the best way out of poverty is to give i think i've given an example when i was giving my teaching during this live stream about the widow of zarephath and i just want to encourage you if you want to get out of bondage be a giver uh you can when we talk about giving we are talking about charity giving we are talking about giving uh towards the work of god we are talking about tithing we are talking about uh giving when we talk about charity giving we're talking about even giving to the poor uh, to the less privileged to the vulnerable so as we we embark on these prayers and tomorrow as we meditate upon these prayers i just want you to find something that you are going to give to somebody maybe you're going to give it to somebody who is in need just find somebody who is in need even buy a loaf of bread and give it to if that family that you know they 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 cannot afford or they 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 need it or just buy a 10 kg of roller meal and give it to somebody i want you to do this and you will see that as we pray and as we fast you are going to receive breakthroughs i just want you to give find somebody that you are going to bless tomorrow find somebody that you are going to bless with some something tomorrow uh, you can have potatoes then you just you, 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 you just take half of that pig and give to somebody give to a family that you know what they need they are in need let's just give I want you to find something that you are going to give out to somebody tomorrow as we pray against the spirit of poverty as we pray against the spirit of poverty just reach out to somebody give something then um we are getting into our prayers against the spirit of poverty we are praying against the spirit of poverty now so i want you to pray with me i want you to pray with me every altar of poverty in my place of birth every altar of poverty in my place of birth i command you to break and scatter right now i come out of the captivity of this evil altar in the name of jesus begin to pray every altar of poverty in my place of birth every altar of poverty in my place of birth scatter and para be paralyzed right now i come out of the captivity of poverty in the name of jesus i declare and i decree that from today this altar shall not speak over my life that from this day this altar shall not testify against me in the mighty name of jesus every altar of poverty i command you to break and scatter right now i break and scatter every altar of poverty i come out of the bondage of poverty in the mighty name of Jesus I command every altar of, of poverty to break I command every altar of poverty to scatter in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I declare and I decree that God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory I declare and I decree the word of God that he came so that we may have life and life in abundance I declare and I decree that he's going to supply all my needs I declare and I decree that as I give out tomorrow is going to, to, to give back to me pressed down shaken together and running over so I want you to pray get something the thing that you are going to give I want you to get it right now and I want you to pray declaring as I'm to, going to give this out tomorrow I declare and I decree that God is going to give it back to me pressed down shaken together and running over this 
this thing, maybe Iembe, maybe Wupfu, whatever that it is that you are going to give out tomorrow. I want you to pray. I want you to declare and decree over it. Lord, as I give it out tomorrow, I pray that you are going to give it back to me. Pressed down, shaken together and running over. I'm going to reach out to the needy to tomorrow. Lord, I pray that you give it back to me. Pressed down, shaken together and running over. I pray for overflow. I pray for overflow of the things that I'm going to give out tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to pray. I want you to pray as I'm going to give tomorrow. May this gift uh, break every yoke of poverty. May this gift break uh, every yoke and every shackle of poverty over my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every case of poverty upon my life, I command you to break in the name of Jesus. I command you to break in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that the works of my hands are going to be blessed. I plead the blood of Jesus over all the works of my hands. In the name of Jesus, I declare favor and I declare financial breakthrough over my life. It is the Lord God who gives me the strength to, to get wealth. I declare and I decree that God is going to give me the strength to get wealth. He's going to give to me the, the, the treasures in hidden places. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying. I want you to get your anointing oil and I want you to anoint your hands as I anoint my hands. I break every yoke and every shackle of poverty over my life. As I anoint my hands, I break every yoke and every shackle of poverty over my life. David says, you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. As I anoint these hands, I command a blessing that runs over. I command overflow. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare a blessing. I declare Declare overflow in the name of Jesus. I command this anointing to break every yoke. I command this anointing to break every shackle of poverty in the name of Jesus. As I anoint my hands, I declare that every caterpillar, every cankerworm that has been eating from my from my hands, I command it to die in the name of Jesus. I destroy every spirit of the devourer. I destroy every spirit of the caterpillar pillar and the kangawem in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every spirit that has been feeding on my on my wealth every spirit that has been feeding on my finances as I anoint my hands I command you to expire I command you to expire I command you to expire in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus keep on praying keep on praying keep on praying keep on praying in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to lay your right hand on your head and pray and say every strength and power of every environmental altar upon my life wither in the name of Jesus. Destroy every power and every strength of every environmental altar, every territorial altar of poverty that is controlling you, every environmental altar of poverty that is fighting and testifying against you. Let it be destroyed. Let it be scattered. Let it be paralyzed in the name of Jesus and any altar of poverty from my village. I command you to, to to, to, to scatter. I command you to break in the name of Jesus. I cry against every altar of poverty. I cry against every altar of poverty. I cry against every altar of poverty. Break in the name of Jesus. Be rent into pieces in the name of Jesus. You altar of poverty, I command you to break right now. I command you to break right now. I command you to break right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray. Every stronghold, 
any covenant in my life that is strengthening the stronghold of poverty, break in the name of Jesus. I want you to lay your right hand of power and fire on your navel. And I want you to pray and say any covenant and any agreement that is, uh, that is raising an altar of poverty over my life. I command you to break right now. I command you to break right now. Every inherited case of poverty, every bloodline case of poverty, I command you to break in the name of Jesus. I disconnect myself in the name of Jesus. I disconnect myself in the name of Jesus. I disconnect myself in the name of Jesus. You covenant and agreement of, of poverty that I've, I've inherited from my father, that I've inherited from my mother, I command you to break right now. I command you to break right now. I command you to break right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that is God is going to open new doors for me, that God is going to open new opportunities for me, that God is going to give me new ideas to get wealth, that God is going to give me new strength to get wealth. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree new doors of opportunities, new doors of favor. In the name of Jesus, I declare increase in my accounts. I declare increase in my finances. I declare increase over my finances. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, multiplication and increase. Multiplication and increase. In Jesus' mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you. If anything is happening or if anything happened uh, during this session, please let me know. Let me know if anything is happening or if anything happened during this prayer session. Uh, let me know what is happening. Let me know what is happening. Every arrow of poverty that has been fired into your life, I command it right now to somersault. I command every arrow of poverty that has been fired into your life to somersault. I command it to boomerang right now in the name of Jesus. Amanda, Tasha, Tina, you are saying I vomited. We thank God for the deliverance. We thank God for the deliverance. We thank God for the deliverance. Let me know what is happening. Let me know what is happening. Let me know what is happening. Or if anything happened during this prayer session, before we close, let me know what is happening or what happened before we close. In Jesus' mighty name. My hands were itching as we were praying. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Anoint those hands one more time. As you anoint your hands, I command the case to break. I command the case to break. I command the case to break. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My ta, you are saying I'm feeling dizzy. Be delivered from that arrow of poverty right now. Be delivered from that arrow of poverty right now. In the name of Jesus. Swang Lechuma, you saying I was choked and became unable to breathe, but it's gone. We thank God you have been delivered, you have been set free. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Before we close, just let me know if anything happened or if anything is happening before we close. Tinobuda chete, Tinobuda chete, Tinobuda chete. My right hand was itching during prayer. You are delivered. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are delivered. You are delivered. Uh, one more time, please let us share the live stream. Let us share the live stream one more time. Let us share the live stream one more time. Let us share the live stream one more time before we close. Oh, you are delivered. That kidney has been delivered from that arrow in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me know, let me know, let me know. If anything is happening, one more time, let us share. Let's share the live stream. Let's share the live stream. Let's share the live stream. 
let's share the live stream before we close let's share the live stream before we close thank you so much for joining me for this live stream thank you so much so uh tomorrow we we are going to use this uh live stream we are going to use this video for our prayer points uh, we are going to use the this live stream for our prayer points i can only see 19 shares let's share the live stream before we leave please let's share the live stream let's share the live stream one more time let's share the live stream one more time before we close let's share the live stream i'm seeing 23 shares 23 shares let's share let's share let's share let's share before we close let's share before we close you can even tag somebody in comments. You can even tag somebody in comments. I hope and believe Kutipane Vabatsirika. I hope and I believe Kutipane Vabatsirika. So till we meet again tomorrow, same time, God bless you. God bless you. May God give you strength uh, to pull through these uh, three days. May God give you the strength to pull through these uh, three days. Uh, those who wait upon the Lord shall never get weary, but they shall receive new strength. May the Lord strengthen us. May the Lord keep on renewing our strength throughout the Esther's fasting. Uh, receive the grace to pull through. Receive the grace to pull through. I love you all, but God loves you more. Have a wonderful night. May God give you the spirit of revelation uh, during this Esther's fasting. God bless you.